Hey, I'm Nick Mac. And I got sent a pair of trainers to customise. A pair of Adidas Continental 80s. The logo, above the line on the outside with a black background. Initials on the back heel. Black soles. Gold undersoles. The character and type on the inside edges. And the rest of the design is up to me. There's lots of different sections and panels which will give me a lot to play around with in terms of colour. But first, let's take photos. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why take a crummy photo when you can just use one from the internet? I mean, look at it. It's perfect. 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 Well, when comparing them, I could see the size was different and even some of the proportions. So it's always best just to work with the shoe you're working on to keep everything accurate. So I started by adding things that the client had mentioned. The logo with a black background, the black heel, etc. Just to help see what would work well. So these trainers are to be inspired by a piece I'd made for the client earlier. I'd created this character called Don Ruki and he was going to be on the trainers. The main colour schemes I'm seeing is purple, gold and black. So that's what I decided to use. And then just played with the panels to see what could go where. And even started with the character. But we can plan more later. Let's get started. So these are Angelus leather paints that I'm using and as you can see, starting with the gold paint, it's very thin on the first layer and even on the second layer too. Just take your time and let it dry between coats. I'd say with the gold, because it's a lighter colour, it took about six or seven layers. This was my first time using transfer paper on leather and the T and the E were really off and it wasn't perfect, but we'll redo that later on. Right now, let's plan. So I thought the outside would look good being all black and then purple on the insides. The character on the inside right shoe and his name on the inside left.
and then I used Angelus acrylic matte finisher to seal everything up. Thanks so much for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it and want to see more, otherwise that's it from me, I'll catch you on the next one.